What is up guys, AOTVP here, and I am bringing you a swarm commentary, a double swarm commentary on the map Nuketown 2025 uh, with the PDW, and this was my first swarm I ever got, my first swarm was actually a double swarm, which is pretty funny, and I got lucky, and I got in a horrible lobby, a lobby, you see I joined late, fast forwarded, and um, you see I actually chose a scorpion, so, uh, I died and I switched classes to the PDW, and I only have Bloodshot in this video because I got it very, uh, I got it early on in the levels, so it was it was easy to get, and really you just need a gun that you're comfortable with and good perks. You don't really need equipment or anything. And now I've been getting mob. <laughs> I don't know why I say mobs, but um keep getting swarms without any equipment you don't need it as long as you have perks and good attachments with the gun that you're comfortable using you could easily get swarms um the reason i haven't uploaded this late i haven't uploaded this video is because theater has been down so i haven't been able to record this because i don't normally do a live re live recordings so as you can see i'm using the pdw with long barrel and grip and maybe long barrel grip and fast mags i don't actually know if I do know, I will post an annotation on the screen somewhere. So, or the or the thumbnail that I make will probably have the attachments on it. But mobs are pretty. I don't. Know, why do I keep saying mobs? <laughs> Sorry about that. Got a nice little double double right here. Um, swarms are not hard to get. I mean, I went 39 and 2 in this lobby. It's it's luck and skill if you think about it. Luck is that you get in a you get into a really bad or just a not that great lobby. You, it's lucky that you, you know, you don't get BS death, you know, lag compensations, something like that. But it's also skill, you know, you, you need to know what you're doing. You need to pay attention to footsteps. You need to know the map, you know, know where to hide, know where to, know a good defensive high traffic area that you can go. And once I get the orbital V set, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I got this. So right now I'm running orbital lodestar swarm, which is what I was running before. But now I found a lot easier way and that's loads, sorry, not lodestar, um. It is orbital VSAT, sorry, I just blanked. Orbital VSAT, canines, and swarms. It just kind of flows easier. That guy just ran by me. I got really lucky. And as you can see, like, I'm somewhat defending our flag. And then once I get the first swarm, I start to play a little more uh, offensively. I go to attack. Uh, yeah, I go to capture the flag. I think I get two cap flag captures. I win the game for us. These guys are absolutely horrible. I've played with better lobbies, and I've gotten swarms. So don't worry. Lo unfortunately, they're pretty good gameplays that I have when I got the swarms. Unfortunately, they're all with the PDW right now because that is my favorite gun. I'm trying to go for M8A1s, an M8A1 swarm, because that is another gun that I'm very good with. I have that gold. And, um... I don't know, they're not that hard to get. I have a video where I don't even get that good of a KD, but you'll see that I come back, like, in the middle of the match and just get a swarm, like, just like that, you know. It's it's easy to get. In my opinion, it's one of the easiest high kill streaks to get, high score streaks you that's that there's been in a Call of Duty. Just because it's stacked, the kill streaks stack so easily. And it's not kill streaks, it's score streaks, so you just get it so much faster. And as you can see, I call my load star. I'm trying, like, I was trying not to use the load star that much, but I, I wanted to make sure I get the swarm. So right there, you see the swarm's called in. And, um, I didn't realize you could exit the load star whenever you wanted to. So I was in it for a while. So yeah, um, while the load star is going, uh, I'm going to talk about our channel. <laughs> I go for this dragon fire right here. Yeah, so, um, I fail, by the way. So, we're probably not going to be doing too many game battles. I know I said we were, but we are pretty rusty on game battles and we're not doing too good. So, I'll post it when I can, but uh, I'm probably not going to for the most part. Go ahead and check out AOT Devils if you... AOT Devils new video. As you can see, I call the swarm right here. I was so happy. Um, yeah, go and check out AOT Devils video. I'll... That'll be at the end of the video annotation and link in the description, maybe, definitely, an annotation on the screen. And he compares the FAL to the SMR, which are the two single-fire guns in Black Ops, uh, single-fire assault rifles in the game. And he kind of, like, puts the their stats side-by-side side and gives his, his opinion. And I look up in the sky, I show you all those hundreds of hunter-killers in the air. And that's really it for me guys so basically be sure to look out for tips and tricks and more gameplays on black ops 2 and i'm gonna let the rest of this gameplay in the next swarm just go by itself AOT you're presenting out peace
Oh, well, by the way, um, just thought I add uh, my final score is thirty nine and two. I read over that commentary and I forgot that I didn't put that in. So yeah, final score thirty nine and two. Now AOT Reaper signing out. Peace. Let's <laughs> go.